Okay. All right, this is an updated conceptual plan of Robin Hood Park. This is our existing Robin Hood Park right here, okay? And uh, as a result of the state road, uh, Peabody Road widening project, uh, the state actually bought a strip of land from us that really took away our parking lot. Uh, so one of the things we're going to need to do is put in a new parking lot in the existing area, and that's what we have here. It's going to pr primarily be a parking lot for handicap, and then also kind of dropping things off for the various pavilions. So there's very few spaces there, and it's really just based on the uh, uh, space constraints right there. We do show another parking lot over here. Uh, that would uh, happen in a future phase uh, if needed. So that's just kind of a placeholder right there. Then this is the area right here that's approximately seven acres that uh, Wyndham gave us that land uh, for uh, amenity use. And so what we've done is uh, our landscape architect has uh, shown a plan that includes a new parking lot with 40 spaces. Then we have right here a uh, new pavilion with restrooms, four bocce courts, and two shuffleboard courts. Uh, you have some picnic areas around here, and then a new playground area right here with a splash pad right there. Then we've talked in the past about the Veterans Memorial area. This area that's kind of in yellow and uh, highlighted with the uh, dashed lines around it is the preliminary area for the Veterans Memorial. Now once the landscape architect gets on site and starts working with the uh, Veterans Memorial group, that may expand or contract depending on what their needs are, but uh, we've talked about setting aside approximately two acres. Then, and we look to this area right here to be our phase one area. And I would not anticipate though that we would do the splash pad in phase one, that's probably later on down the road. Uh, and again, with the bocce courts, it may be that we just do two courts initially and then add another two courts later on. So uh, we'll be working with the bocce club to determine what the needs are there. You can see in the Veterans Memorial, they've got a pavilion, also with restrooms, and then kind of a focal point right here for their um, Veterans Memorial and looking across the lake. Then this area would be uh, phase two, and right now we have a pavilion with restrooms and what we call a fitness trail but uh, that could change over time as we see uh, the needs uh, that may change dramatically. So again, this is kind of a first draft of conceptual plan and typically what you'll find over time is that uh, the uh, actual plan is a little bit different from a conceptual plan, but at least it, it gives us a frame of reference and something to uh, work towards, especially as we look at this phase one area right here. So any questions? Okay, thank you. And then uh, Bruce, are you going to handle the uh, yeah. Rapid Center? Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. I just want to see if y'all were awake, that's all. Uh, a little bit of review here is the uh, renovations of the Rapid Center. But first, before I do that, I want to talk a bit about the Major Capital Projects Committee. Uh, many of you remember we formed that committee back in May. Uh, it is composed of five gentlemen living here who four of them are degree engineers. The other gentleman is, uh, had a whole career in industrial and commercial development. We are very fortunate to have those five individuals willing to work with us on projects like this. They have done projects literally around the world. So we are fortunate to have that expertise. And I'd like to introduce uh, one of them, what the committee has done is when they have a project like this, they assign a point portion off of that committee. And Dave Miser, who is here, Dave, would you stand, please? Dave Miser. Yeah. Dave is the point person on this project and will follow the project with the engineers. Now, getting to the project, I'm proud of this project because we've taken a different format or tact on this. The Major Capital Projects Committee worked with the Racket Sports Committee and sat down and talked to them about what do we want to do here. This building is a 1970s building. If you haven't been in it and you go to the restrooms in there, you'll swear you step back in the 1972 or 3 or 4 or whatever <laughs> and we need to do something with it. Besides that, it's not in great shape. 
And so what we're doing, I'm talking about the front building. I'm not talking about the tennis courts inside. Inside tennis courts are, will be as they are. This is the building that houses the offices, the check-in uh, desk and lobby and, and area, that area. So the Major Capital Projects Committee met with the Racket Sports Committee over the last several months, actually, uh, along with Bob Weber, along with William Taylor, the tennis pro, along with Ken Floor, who's the board liaison to the uh, Racket Sports Committee, and myself, because I'm the liaison to the Major Capital Projects Committee. So it's an inclusive effort. And what we did was it, we ended up with several different iterations of design. But the one, the one part we had to be careful of is that this has to be ADA compliant when we're done. And so right now it's got two different levels, and actually several different levels. And when we get done, when they get done, uh, I'm not going to take any credit, it's going to be all on one floor. And what that did was that eliminated the cost of additional ramps, an elevator, or whatever it took to be ADA compliant. These 70s restrooms, by the way, are not ADA compliant. So it's a major project. And so when they, they sat down, they got together, did this, they put out, this is another first, we actually bid out the architectural and engineering contract. And we actually contracted it with a firm in Cookville. And they, they came in, worked with the group, and said, hey, you want to renovate this building, it's going to be more economical to tear it down and build a new building. And so that's the decision we've made, is, is we're proposing to tear down the existing office lobby area and build a new <coughs> building. Now the, the building, you can come up afterwards and take a look at it, and, and I'll be here, and Dave has committed to staying here, and I'll, we'll answer any questions you have in detail. But in essence, we're, we're going to tear the building down, redo the entire building based on what the Racket Sports Committee folks have asked for. Uh, and uh, the facade of it, the outside, will look a lot in the same vein as the Dorchester Clubhouse. It'll have a metal roof, it'll have stonework, and it'll have hardy board on the front. Uh, I think you'll be well impressed with what we're doing here. It's, it's one of those projects where and we're, we're taking a look at something that was built in the 70s and say we've got to upgrade, modernize, and improve, and that's what we're doing here. Um, See if I have fallen down anything significant, Dave, I did speak up. You might talk about the restrooms on the pit wall. Good point. The other thing we're doing is there are restrooms in, in the old building here and restrooms in this end. There'll still be the restrooms in this end, but we're going to add restrooms between the tennis courts, off of the tennis courts, and, and on the pickleball side. So that the folks from pickleball have an opportunity to get to the restrooms along with the tennis folks. So it'll be a joint building and there's a covered pavilion there for viewing and uh, just resting and watching the, you know, the uh, sports. Uh, and so we're gonna try, we're gonna, the other thing is this was planned originally to do this building in phase one and this building later. And we, the, the committees come back and said, you can save about 20 to $25,000 if you do those at the same time. And so now we are going to try to do all that at the same time. And the time frame of this is this. Uh, this is the conceptual plan. Uh, we're getting construction drawings. Uh, Dave is going to go out and start getting bids in December. We hope to have all the bids in in early January. Uh, and so uh, they will then take those, that proposal to the financial committee in January. They will confer and then they will bring a recommendation to the board in our January meeting. So in January, you will, in this meeting, you will have a, a proposal on what we're going to do and a vote on how, how we're going to move forward. If approved, then what we will do is try to finish this job uh, by the end of June is the time frame we're looking at. Earlier, if we can, we'd like to have it ready for Memorial Day when we're having all the 50th anniversary celebrations. We'll see how that works out. And so that's, that's, in a nutshell, that's the plan. But what I'm most proud of is it's a project where we did the engineering uh, work, which we hadn't done before. We're going to have at least five contractors bid this project. It's a joint effort between the Major Capital Projects Committee, the Racket Committee, and the staff. And so I think what we're going to get is a product that the Racket Center folks are going to be proud of. And so we'll, you know, when we get this done, we'll have a grand opening. And I've asked Bob, let's get some pictures of the old place and sit them around in the new place. And so folks can see the difference. It's going to be significantly different from old to new. 
So I'm, I'm proud of the work they've done. I'm not going to take zero credit because I haven't been done on anything except whatever they need me to do. But the, the, those two committees have worked really hard to do what the community wants done at the racket center. Any questions? Yes. I'm assuming since you're taking the kind of the front offices yes. and bathrooms out, are you putting trailers up? No, what we're going to do is uh, this, this phase over here, the restrooms will still be there and there will be a check-in room there. And we'll tear the old building down, build that, and then there will be, a, 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 you know, I want to do the restrooms. And so we'll have the restrooms and then we'll come back over and work on the old restrooms. Okay. So you get to use the old ones for a little longer, but eventually by June, it will all be done. Yeah, and in, in fact, uh, the committee just came back here recently and said we got to reverse the plan because of that very fact. If we'd have done the other, we'd have had to have a trailer. Mm -hmm. A, that costs money, and B, I just don't want us using trailers personally. So they've come back and said we can do it this way. Okay. Any other questions? Again, I'll hang around. Dave is, Dave is committed to hang around. If you want to come up, take a look at it, have additional questions, we'll answer any questions you've got. Okay. Thanks.